The Label Expo has partnered with Visit Connect to provide a variety of exhibitor services, some of which could significantly enhance your experience at the event. This is a short informational video to explain the functionality available and ensure you get value from exhibiting. The first menu option is the Team tab. This represents your booth staff. Anyone you intend to work on the booth will need to be registered here. There's a table um, of your existing registrations and you can add new booth staff via the button at the bottom. Label Expo is a paid event. However, each exhibiting company has been given an allocation of free exhibitor passes. These are indicated at the top of the page. If you use your allocation, you can purchase more via this Order More Badges button. It's also worth noting that your users or booth staff have permissions against them. These permissions are admin permissions. This will allow the user to administer all of the menu options to the left hand side. Show all leads. This will mean the user can view all leads gathered by all of your team. Mm. Allow capture leads allows the user to install a scan app device um, so they can scan attendees at the event. And finally, you have allow export leads. Moving to the guest tab, Label Expo is also a paid event for attendees. However, as an exhibitor, you will have been granted some free to attend discount codes or action codes. These can be distributed to any third parties you think might be interested in the show and are available here. If any attendees go on to register with one of your discount codes or action codes, they will appear in your guest list. Skipping ahead to the orders tab, if you make any additional purchases through the system, such as additional passes for booth staff, they will be logged here. This brings me on to the last three tabs, questions, digital content, and leads. There are two types of lead capture provided at the show, scan apps and touch points. All exhibiting companies are provided a minimum of one of each Exhibitors can download the scan app onto cell phones or tablets and then scan attendee badges capturing their data. Notes and custom questions can also be logged against the lead. If you're using one of the scan apps, you can create custom questions relevant to your company under the questions tab. These can be in the format of free text or single choice or multiple choice. Some classic use cases of these questions may be a product list, um, which you can indicate a lead is interested in. Alternatively, a simple lead scoring mechanism. All of these questions um, will then be synced to uh, any scan apps that you uh, your company activates. Um, you can also ac access your scan app licenses from this page which also includes some information about how to install the app onto your devices. The second method of lead capture is through using touch points. Prior to the event, it's recommended you upload any digital content you may have that could be relevant to attendees. Under the digital content tab, you can add a company profile with a logo, bio, etc. You can also add different types of digital content, such as a web link, documents, such as PDF, images, audio, and videos. You can also nest additional pieces of digital content in a very similar format underneath the company profile. When you get on site, you'll need to go to the lead retrieval desk where you will be assigned a touch point. You should place this in a prominent position on your booth Attendees interested in the company can then come past and tap their badge on your touch point, meaning you get their data and they will be provided with access to all of the digital content you uploaded. This brings me on to the leads tab. All leads generated at the show, albeit from scan apps or from touch points, will be available here. These can also be easily exported into Excel, which you can then use in other third party platforms you may use, such as CRMs or marketing automation tools. Finally, if you have any follow-up questions, there's a detailed user guide available here 